Okay, so one of the questions that you guys asked was, what do we feed our dogs? So this is our meat room slash kind of, I call it our feed porch, which I think is more fitting, but I don't get to name the places around the property. Um, so all these buckets that are hanging, and there's one down here, um, have these 10 pound bricks of ground beef um, thawing in them. So we feed ground beef this time of the year and then we mix the ground beef oops all my stuff for a run is here we mix the ground beef with uh dr tim's uh which is a high grade kibble high protein uh kibble so for example the two-year-olds that i'm feeding um which i think there's 12 of they eat one of those bricks, 10 pounds of ground beef, plus two and a half large scoops of kibble. And then we mix it with hot water that's just heating up in this pot all day. And we mix it all together, kind of make it into like a meaty kibbly soup. And then use a ladle to scoop it out into their bowls. Uh, and they eat that twice a day. Uh, each group of dogs kind of has their own set amount of how much meat to kibble to water ratio. But right now, basically any of the running or racing dogs are kind of on a very similar um, trajectory of one of those bricks and two or two and a half cups of kibble. The puppies and the older dogs obviously don't need nearly as much. They just get a little thing of meat and a bit of kibble and that sustains them. But then um, at lunchtime... When these guys aren't running or not aren't running as much, um, and they're just home kind of trying to make sure that they keep up a good appetite. We have this kibble shed over here, which um, is where we store all our kibble, but it's also where we store all of our snacks <laughs> and other such foods. So we have a lot of kibble. Um, Brent brings home a pallet of thousands of bags of dog food at a time um, and because we do not live on road system we bring those up in snow machine in sleds um, bag by bag so it is a process to get anything here to the homestead but so yeah we have kibble stored in here i also move ground beef over here to make it just easier to grab after each feeding i grab and replenish any of those buckets that i used and then in here we also have uh, so this is like dust, basically. Um, we cut the snacks on a saw, just like a saw that you'd mom or dad or, you know, construction worker would have in their house, a um, miter saw and a band saw. So we cut the meat and it makes this dust. Um, so then we add this dust, which is essentially a lot of fat, um, to some of those buckets occasionally just to add some extra calories. This bag is actually fat. Um, we get these big bricks of fat, they're 50 pounds, and we just... Um, use a axe and a hammer and we chop it up into little gumballs like these and um, the dogs love it we just put it down and they eat them up and that's really good obviously um, it's we love fatty foods right so the dogs really love fat uh, in here is chicken skins um, and that's also what's in here so we look for some slices of chicken skin uh, obviously chicken skin us humans most of us uh, don't really eat the chicken skin or you know we know that we necessarily shouldn't eat chicken skin um, because it is just all fat so these are actually just chicken skins um, all kind of condensed down into bricks again I think it's a 25 pound brick uh, and we slice them in with the bandsaw into little slices these are actually kind of chunks because the slices are all packed for the races uh, so we give them those in here is fish snacks so same thing, I used a miter saw and I sliced a whole frozen fish into little slices and the dogs can eat that raw or frozen, I guess, frozen raw. Um, and they love fish snacks and they love chicken skins too. Uh, this is a snack that he's using with his race dogs. It's called BLT, it's beef liver and tripe. So we slice those into little uh, slices or chunks as well. 
Uh, mostly we try for rectangles. There we go. And, uh, yeah, so those, he's been using those mostly on the races. They're just really kind of different, you know, and the dogs are a little bit tired or getting a little bit picky, tired of the same food, and they're working hard, and they're cold. Uh, they need something exciting to eat. So I have some little different stuff. This is called North Country Mix. It's same idea. He's using it mostly on races. It's a blend of meats and fish um, that would be found up here in the North Country areas. Uh, so that is primarily what we're feeding. Well, we also eat beef. They also eat beef snacks. It's just, uh, we slice the bricks of beef into little circular slices. Um, so they eat those on the races as well. They also eat these on the training runs. They're currently eating fish snacks on the training runs also. Um, and then, so on the races, obviously he's out, he's miles and miles away from a kitchen or a room to thaw things. So what we do for the race is so that he has um, a way to cook meat for the dogs quickly is we make the slices, the beef, so we slice, we, we cut the slices into slices like these again, there we go, um, into slices like these, and then I use an axe or a hatchet, and I break these into little tiny chunks, um, like... Kind of like one second, this size or smaller, and then we put those into a bag um, about a pound of meat per dog. So, like on the Iditarod, when there will be 14 dogs, those bags I packed are all 14 pounds of beef meal, like that. We call it beef meal because he's going to make it into a meal of beef. Um, but yeah, so we take that 14 pound bag of just those little chunks, and then that way he can heat up water on a cooker. Um, which is just a, basically a pot that has some, uh, chemical flame thing to it. Sorry, don't know the specifics of that exactly. Um, and, uh, he can heat up the water pretty quickly with that. And then these little chunks being small like that thaw very easily in just hot water, boiling water. So we can pour that into the boiling hot water and make a really fast meal for the dogs versus trying to bring a big chunk of meat out and thaw it, um, which is difficult, obviously, even in that room that I showed you, we store it in sometimes we come out in the morning and eat, despite there being a stove in there, sometimes the chunks are still frozen in the center and we have to kind of slice them up with knives instead. So the beef meal is a way to kind of make sure that on the trail, when he stops, he can quickly make a meal for them, which is important. They have to stop, get straw and bedding and get a meal in them that's warm and get right to bed so that they can get back on the trail in just a few hours. So that's kind of, uh, what they eat for the most part. Um, we don't really use a ton of supplements. Some kennels use a lot of supplements. Um, uh, we don't really currently, um, some of his race dogs, as we get closer to the Iditarod or the longer races might add some supplements and stuff. Um, but for the most part, our dogs do really well on the diet that he's providing. Um, Earlier in the season, we were feeding primarily fish um, instead of beef before the beef got here. Um, we were cooking it in that black pot right there. It was like a six hour, eight hour process in the morning. We'd get up at 7 a.m. and start that fire blazing and get some frozen fish in there, um, like 13 fish, and cook it all down till it was a soup. So the bones were soft so that the dogs didn't have any issues with that. And then we'd add a little bit of rice just to add a little bit more bulk to the meal. And that's what we were souping out to them uh, for breakfast and dinner for, I don't know, probably most of October and November. So, um, yeah, so the diet kind of changes as the weather changes and as their mileage changes. But for the most part, they'll be on this beef and kibble through the rest of the race season. And then once it gets a little bit warmer and the races are done, I assume we'll go back to mostly kibble diet. And uh, the water we add to it is because obviously the water, we can't leave water out by their houses uh, as it'll just freeze. So we use hot water because that's way more attractive to them than cold water when they're out in the cold. So we use the hot water and um, they get all of their fluid for the day, for the most part, from those two meals by drinking some of the water that comes in. The, um, the 
soup that we make. Um, meat, the ground beef obviously has a, a water content to it also, but yeah, for the sure they need that extra water in there. Some of them really just don't like water. A lot of, a couple of them will dump their bowls out and just pick out the kibble and meat chunks. Um, the dogs do do something called dipping when they're running. So they will run to the side and, uh, just grab a mouthful of snow during the run. So they also get some hydration during that. Um, and obviously they have snow all around their circles. So if they're really thirsty, they could eat some snow around their circle as well. But for the most part, that the hydration that comes from their meals is enough hydration for them.